The show that I'm bringing here to Detroit is an exhibition that originated in San Francisco. The title is When Attitudes Become Form, Become Attitudes. And the exhibition is based on a very legendary exhibition that took place in 1968 in Switzerland at the Kunsthalle in Bern. The exhibition is almost kind of mythical. Um, many books have been written about it and every student who studies modern and contemporary art or studies curatorial practice knows about this exhibition. So I was really interested in understanding what was going on with this exhibition. Why is this so famous? Why does everybody look at it? Are all these things that people say about this exhibition actually true? Uh, what's behind all the myth that has been created around it? Since I'm an exhibition maker myself, I thought the best way of examining this exhibition would be by making an exhibition about the other exhibition. The exhibition begins with a space that you could call like an archive room, but I was actually really thinking about this idea of the sequel and how often in the sequel you have like the first 10 minutes telling you what happened in the previous episode. We have made a large scale model of the Kunsthalle Bern that the visitor can look at to get a feel of how the original exhibition looked like. One of the reasons why the original exhibition has become so legendary was that many people argued that it was really the first time that uh, Europe was exposed to conceptual art from the United States. So uh, I was interested in seeing what has happened with sort of like the legacy of conceptual art, but also other art movements of that time, post-minimalism, body art, land art, art povera, and, and how have younger artists who are working today and who are now the same age as the artists were that, when they participated in 69 in Zeman's show, but they, what, what are they doing now? And what I found out is quite interesting, that many of the artists that sort of pick up on those historical um, artists and the movements have sort of like a nostalgic longing for that particular period, the late 60s. I think for many artists in the generation born after 1975, that period in art represents a time where art was not tainted yet by by the overpowering market, where artists were still investigating really radical questions and where art in itself, the concept of art, was really pushed to its limits and to its boundaries. So the artists that are going to be uh, presented in this exhibition are all of a younger generation, all born after 1970, and all of them, in some way or the other, employ certain aesthetics uh, or conceptual strategies that artists from that previous generation developed for the first time.